name is Seb and I'll be my partner Ezekiel. Today we will show you how to program the code variable on LabVIEW and how to rewire the circuit on my spam project board. Before we get to specifics, here is a video of how the code variable works. As you can see, the motor is first programmed to go in one direction. Then as soon as the battery or the object reaches and blocks one of the phototransistors, the motor switches directions, which moves the battery that is sitting on the belt to the other phototransistor, and this repeats as long as the program is running. This is the circuit diagram for the conveyor belt. We plugged in the light bulb to the output one and that bulb is, is powered by the 5 volts being connected to enable one. The motor for the belt is connected to output two. There is a wire from enable two to DIO0 and DIR2 connected to DIO1. To, the power, to power the entire breadboard, there is a jumper cable from 5 volts and ground to the positive and negative components of the breadboard. There are two components that are connected to the breadboard. They are the phototransistors that change the direction of the motor and two phototransistors are connected to DIO2 and DIO3. This is the LabVIEW program that runs the conveyor belt. This is the while loop right here. This just gives the program a never ending cycle. This is the stop button. So when the stop button is pressed, it will start the entire program since it is connected to the case structure and the while loop. This is a case structure. The case structure shows the program when case is true, the motor stops, which is right here. And when the case is false, it runs the entire program, which is right here. If you think about this stop button, the program should stop completely when it is pushed or pressed since the true cases has two false constant, which are these two. And this is the inner case structure. The inside case structure has a different kind of purpose. It's where all the action takes place. We use this case structure to run the conveyor belt by changing the case structure cases to every step the program needs, which is forward, pause one, reverse, and pause two. In every case, has a different purpose. This is the forward case. This shows the program to run forward or run a certain direction. Since the motor has two true constants, it runs the motor in a straight line or in one direction. And this is a sensor. The sensor is inside a while loop, so it programs the sensor to a never ending cycle to keep reading the lights. And so when it is broken, it will go to the other steps, which is pause one. This is the first pause we have. This pause just stops the motor for a certain amount of time, which is, in our case, 500 milliseconds milliseconds and after that it goes to the reverse the reverse function is just same as the forward function except we have a true and a false constant the true and false constant just pretty much gives it gives the motor a different running direction since we put the DRI which is right here we put the DRI on the motor the true and then the enable false so it just shows the motor to run the direction. This is the enum constant right here. Each case has an enum constant. The forward case has pause one, pause one has reverse, and reverse has pause two, and then pause two has forward. The enum constant just shows the program where to go next, so there is less confusion. And this would be the feedback node. The feedback node is connected to a constant. The constant just tells the feedback node where to start. In our case, it's forward. It could start with pause one or reverse two or even pause two. But in our case, we just started with forward. 